Now that we have a better understanding of the Flash interface, let's dive in a bit further. First, we'll resize the stage and color it, and we'll learn exactly what this stage thing is. Then we'll cover bitmap and vector graphics, followed by importing an image, resizing it, and moving it around the stage with a variety of different techniques. Now, let's talk about the stage. I've referred to it before. So what is it exactly? Well, it's basically the canvas on which we'll be creating our project. And another way to think of it is, let's say you're doing a play. Everything that is on the stage is going to be viewed by the audience. With the um, free transform tool, we can also rotate by simply putting our cursor near one of the handles, and you'll see this half circle icon up here. You can just click and rotate just like that, just holding in your mouse button. And you can also skew. Again, simply placing your cursor in between two handles on either the vertical or horizontal. And then you just click, drag, and you can do different things like that. So let's say you bring in a bitmap that is 500 pixels wide. And in Flash, you decide to expand it to 1,000 pixels. If you do this, it's going to decrease in quality because it's not going to be its original file size. You're going to get pixelization, and it's not going to look as good as it could. Now, vector graphics, on the other hand, they will stay the same quality no matter how big you make them, no matter how far you zoom in. And that is the advantages that vector graphics have over bitmaps, is that they remain clean and sharp the entire time. So which one is the best? On the one hand, you have vector graphics, and on the other, bitmap. Vectors offer smooth visuals whether you zoom in or you enlarge them. In bitmaps, well, you can import anything. People, pets, logos really any type of image.